It's really such a decision often, especially later in life. It becomes this, you know, you just envision how your life is going to completely change. And, and if you don't do it, your life just keeps going and it doesn't change in this momentous way. And I, I, there was a part of me that wanted that change. I've watched my sisters and some of my friends become mothers and I see, I see and I, I always felt this twinge of, I'm missing out on an experience that is a human experience. It's my mo the most profound experience of my mother's life. Um, and by missing out, I'm opting for the unknown in a way. I'm opting for what I didn't grow up watching because my mother did have kids, my sisters have kids. And so it was a sense of adventure in a way. After I got over this, you oh, know, interesting. heartbreak about not having them, I, I embarked on the child-free <laughs> life <laughs> um, with a kind of zest, like, what is, what is this? What does it mean that I'm not going to have this transformation into a mother? Um, who am I going to be? And I had to um, become an adult on my own terms. I always imagined that becoming a mother would make me an adult immediately. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of the, it. Just is sort of an assumption. It's kind of a. It's kind of conventional wisdom. Like you're never. You're not fully mature until you have a child, or you're not. You're certainly. You you don't really know love. I mean, that comes. That's up a what lot. they say. And the thing is, <laughs> the, but no. I mean, the thi and it kind of goes into this. What do you think? I'm. I'm. Being, I'm saying that like I'm saying that. Um, uh, you know, I mean, I think it's like, the thing is, that, uh, like, we are missing out on a particular experience. I mean, I think sort of pro you know, where this conversation sometimes goes adrift is when people try to say, well, I'm not missing out on anything, and, you know, I'm getting all this. But of course, like, everybody misses out on something. It's impossible to go through life without having any regrets. I mean, this is where the whole regret question comes up. I mean, I, was, I did a radio interview the other day, and someone called in and insisted that, you know, to, wanted to know if I was worried about feeling regret someday about this. And it's like, I, I'm worried about feeling regret about everything. I mean, it's just, there's no, you know, it's like Je Jeff, Jeff Dyer has, a, has a, a piece in this book and he says, you know, I, I regret almost everything about my life. So, so why, should I, why should I start? Yeah. I mean, you know, he has a very charmed life, so, you know, he's being a little cheeky. But I, no, I mean, it's sort of this, this idea that, you know, you can't take all paths.